Look at this lighting. I've got no eye makeup on. But I did everything else. So I bought things from three stores. Uh, first one is Kiko Milano, which is an Italian makeup brand. And when I went to Europe, I bought, was it Europe? Oh, I went to some country many years ago because it's just not sold in Australia, but it's sold in a lot of other places. And I tried the 3D Hydra lip gloss and I fell in love with it. I actually finished it. It was a red sparkly one. Anyway, I went in and they're an affordable brand as well. And I got a free gift with purchase. So I got a lip liner and it looked like a nice color. Um, all I had to do was sign up, but I got this one. It's hard to know in smart. And then I bought one of the 3D Hydra lip glosses. That's all I wanted. And I got the shade number 18, which is this really pretty color. So that's what I got from Kiko. I didn't want to go overboard because I know what it's like when you go to another country. It's really exciting buying all these other brands and then you get home and you don't use it. But I know I will use that lip gloss. And then I bought one perfume. So this is from a brand called Taif El Amrat. Now with this, it wasn't an actual store. It was like a kiosk. So I don't think it's going to be well known, but I liked the smell of it and was in my budget. A lot of the fragrances at Dubai Mall that were uh, Middle Eastern were around $300. And it's just, I, I just can't do it. Um, maybe next time if I come back, I will. But this was $130. I checked my bank. <laughs> no, I did the conversion because you have to convert everything because it's like times 3.6. So it's really hard to figure out the price of things. Anyway, so it looks like this. I'm not gonna fully open it, but we have, he told me the notes, doesn't have it on here. Natural oil, and it is made here in the UAE. It was oud, vanilla and chocolate, I think. And I was surprised that it had chocolate. It didn't smell like it had chocolate because I don't like chocolate fragrance. Um, but I'll definitely give this a go in like a get ready with me when I go home. I just don't want to open it right now. I want to wait till I get home. So yeah, that was nice. It's like, I, was, I wanted to get one Middle Eastern fragrance. Um, there was one that I really liked, but it was $300. So I was like, mm -mm, maybe not. I wanted to try a lot of the viral ones that I see on YouTube, but I couldn't find a store that had different brands of Middle Eastern fragrances. I couldn't find one. And honestly, I'm not here long enough to be traveling and researching and finding these places because I have two children and a husband that doesn't care about fragrance. So anyway, I went to Sephora. The Sephora in Dubai Mall, it was so good. I actually made a TikTok about it. I'll insert it here if I have already um, edit edited it. Before I get into it, I kept this. I went to Addition to Parfum Frederick Mar, which is my one of my favorite fragrance brands. We sell it at Mecca. And they had three fragrances um, that were Middle Eastern that we don't have at Mecca. And this was my favorite. It was called Dawn by Carlos Benheim. And Carlos Benheim is my favorite fragrant uh, perfumer. Oh, so beautiful. <clears throat> okay, so from Sephora. I'm pretty sure I can get this at home, but I've been dying to get these, so I got it. This was the most expensive thing I got. I was surprised when I looked at the receipt. I was like, what'd you do? <laughs> anyway, I think they're three full size. I thought they were gonna be minis. Okay, I can't get it out. Let's just pick one, cherry. <gasps> I am a cherry gal. Yeah, I'm gonna love it. Let me swatch it. I know I'm gonna love it. I did swatch one of them in store, like a yellowy orangey looking one. <sighs> That's a bit of me. That is a bit of me. Mm -hmm. 
Lovely. I'm very happy I got that. Because I knew that this is from Holiday. So if I was going to get it, I was going to get it, you know? All right, so that's what I got, the Lip Comfort Oil Trio. So this, I actually bought a lot of things in the checkout line. <laughs> I had like two things in my hand and then the checkout line, all the minis, I was like, it was the best part of the whole store. Um, this is Fable and Main, which we don't have in Australia. Um, I tried to get things that I couldn't get in Australia, but I did get things I could get in Australia. Um, this is the Smooth and Shine Hair Oil. I've heard good things about it and I am an air, air i'm a hair oil girly so it's only a small one but i thought i'd give it a go that'll still last me a while um i've been using the gisu one i love that one but i'm happy to try this one out maybe you can get it in australia but i have not seen it so i got that then i got i wanted to get this and they did have it the super goop glow screen so i have the mini that i bought from cult beauty i've been using it every day um, so I bought this. This is the Glow Screen SPF 30. Um, it is a hydrating, glowing sunscreen primer. So I'm very glad that I saw that. As soon as I saw it, I was like, you are mine. It was very well stocked, Sephora. And there was really good customer service. I got approached many times, which does not happen in Sephora Australia. It is like crickets when you go into Sephora Australia. And then I bought three of the Kaeli perfumes. So they had a stand outside of the Sephora promoting Kayali and they had the whole Oudgasm collection and my favourite was the Rose Oud. I'm not surprised. I thought it would be my favourite. The vanilla one was nice, but it was a little bit younger. I feel like if you like a mature, sophisticated, sexy fragrance, the Rose Oud was amazing. I got the new Kayali Sparkling Lychee. I basically got the whole collection now of all the 10 mils. I don't have the Coco Vanilla one though. That, I think that's the on the Elixir. There's two that I don't own. Um, so I wanted to get this one. It's really nice and fresh for those days where I don't want anything intense, just super fresh and delicious. And then I did get the Pistachio. So these came out at 108 dirham. I can't remember. Um, so I got those three. And yes, I can technically get these in Australia, but they're hard to get. Everything's always out of stock. It's a pain in my butt. So they were there in the mini section, which was all color coordinated, by the way. It was very cool. And I got these three. So no regrets. I love everything that I bought. And that's everything that I got. Um, so yeah, very happy. And now I'm going to go to the flower garden it's gonna be lovely i think my eyes are getting better looks like i got eyeshadow on 